So good. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Please excuse the noise in the background. It's just the children. So I decided to just do a small orchid tour. I don't really have anything much in bloom, but I could do an orchid tour. This is one of my vandas here. Well, you all have seen where I keep my vandas underneath the cutter in here. They get quite enough light. So I did um, a small short um, on YouTube already with this one. So um, this one is coming. I don't really want to move it. Right, so... Yeah, so back to the tour, and this is Marissa Vanders here. This one be coming soon. This is my black orchid. It's coming. Catasium, um, black pearl. Yeah, and these are my Marissa orchids here. This was recently added to my collection. Currently the biggest orchid in my possession. This is the Cattleya chocolate drop. Boom. Yeah, and um, um it has I have some sheets on it. There's a sheet here. One here. This one here that I'm touching. And um I think there's one more yeah and one here it's lovely it's very compact these are my cymbidiums I have three one two three this is my next cut layer those are two full of mouses. And this is my sherry baby here. As you can see, two spikes. It's in that black pot. This is another orchid here. This one I recently acquired. I got this one as for free from purchase. And um, this is underneath the tree here. This is um, a citrus tree that doesn't really bear much fruit. What we call Portugal in Trinidad. This is one of my Hoya here that you're seeing. This is the Hoya sun, a sunny side up right now. It is growing tremendously. It has two grow points, one here, one here. This is another cut la layer. Um, this one is a very nice winning one. It always flowers every shoot. It has two currently now. Two coming this one just bloomed as you could see it gave three beautiful flowers and it lasts for almost a month and now it's shooting out two new shoots one here one here right um, this is my bat plant my bat 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 plant it's really cool these are my two jewel orchids, one here and one there. And this is my kryptonite. It's in two. So this is gonna have a, 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 a bloom. This is two spikes as you can see. One here, one here. So this is, um, it takes its time. And this is my holy ghost orchid. Right now I currently um, read, this one is doing real good. This is a new, sh a new bulb. And that one there is a new bulb as well behind as you can see coming so that's this one this is doing great these are three Hoyas here one two and this one over here three is doing really great this is my other Hoya my Hoya Matilde she's doing great as you can see really really good my nether Hoya here too this is courtesy and that's a Lacanosa 
type and also here you could also see two in the camera my hindu rope in the back over there and this is my arm um, i forgot the name they're doing really great really really great this one here is um i can't remember the name and that is my well that's the normal paper calyx that everybody knows this is my patchy clutter it hadn't too long bloomed and this is the this one's really great this one's coming back again with peduncles here that's my cat um smithers yeah he he just came in from wherever and once that is my hoya um dki right now if you look closely you could see a peduncle i have them growing underneath a tree because they seem to really love growing under the tree the the light is enough the and they could just they could just um vine up on any branch and what i do i let them vine up as far as they want to go and and when i see the leaf the leaves out or put uncle out i un i untangle them and wrap them back down up on the pot and i get a fuller pot a fuller plant yeah back and this is my hoya um of oh course i forgot the name yeah hoya sunrise it's grown tremendously really really beautiful if you could take a load off it's really it's beautiful this is one of my Hoyas as well. I have it here in this cup. It seems to really like it. Yeah, look at those roots. Wow. These also are some orchids I have hanging here. Um, these are two fandas here. They're really huge. Huge fandas. One is in spike right now. Look at this one. Look at the roots. The roots are amazing. It's in spike. The other one is not in spike, but this one here is a moco. Is in bloom. That's my another cat layer there. This is my epidendrum. Right now, if you look, you can see it's currently in spike. Yeah, the sun is kind of, you know, recently acquired that one. On this side here, my Hoya, Rebecca, she's just doing great. That's a Hoya, that's an orchid, a uh, um, a nurse mom. Not really too, um, too much of a fan of the nurse mom because it's so short lived, but. Yes, yeah, okay. This is my Hoya Obervata. As you can see, it's really, it's really grown. It's tree grow orange spot there. Yeah, Obervata. She's doing well. This is my orchid. It's a sun orchid from Sunset Valley orchids. Yeah, Sunset Valley orchids. It's a bifolate. It's doing okay, it's growing. Yeah. Um, my grandma for Tom. It's doing okay too. Got this one. Not too long ago. I got it small, so it's small. This is my Hoya coming Gianna. It was it was way bigger than this, but um some type of strong insecticide was accidentally sprayed on it so it's bouncing back and this is my encyclia this is the yellow encyclia very fragrant this is an oncidium this is the tag it's coming in a spike there it also has something there as you could see something small here 
This is my um Hoya Botanica. She has a bloom there on her. This is my you know I just have them all over. That is an encyclia there as well. That is a catalea in 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 sheet encyclia. That's another encyclia. This is a den. Actually, there's three den. This one here, three den on one one piece of wood. This this was a free piece of um on CD and that I got from a purchase. This is my Hoya, Hoya Batonier. As you can see, it was very small. It has grown tremendously. Hoya Batonier. It's my Hoya um, Sigillatus. Doing really well. That's uh, and stick clear there as well. I just have them kind of like bundle up here so they could get good light. This is another orchid growing on coconut husk. That is the lava burst. This is my coconut orchid that is very, very huge. I just transplanted it this is another orchid two here this is the orchid um tigrina this one i can't remember the name from sunset valley orchids as well um yeah let me see if i can find the tag Ooh. looks like the tag has fallen off uh, this is my orange mccoy yeah? As you can see, she's in full bloom. Very beautiful. This picture doesn't do it justice. Look at it. Tour is almost over. That is my um This is this is another orchid. This is the green prather. Recently acquired this. Just put a coconut house here because you see it's coming with new shoots new eyes one day one day yeah this is a really nice one this here is an um a mini shambuki that's another orchid there too this is my den eagle wings <sighs> i don't really like this one because it's a um it blooms once a year as a species and it also um, doesn't really bloom much. This is my Hoya um, Miniflua. My Hoya Miniflua, as you can see, it's, it's coming with a, uh, a bloom, peduncle. This one is already spent. It's very beautiful, already spent. And, um, this is this is my Hoya snowball. I recently mounted this on a stick. This is my orchid. Wow, the tour is going longer than I thought. These are two orchids that um I'm coming back. Yeah, and this is my the others. This is a seedling in Cyclia. Another seedling from Sunset Valley Orchids. Other seedlings. This is just the rest of the orchids. And this is my shampoo Kia. Okay guys, um, this is the end of the tour. So there was more but I gotta wrap it up now. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day. Bye.